Coming to the fifth question, in a classroom, four friends are seated at the points A, B, C, and D, as shown in Figure 7.8. Champa and Chameli walk into the class, and after observing for a few minutes, Champa asks Chameli, "Don't you think A B C D is a square?" Chameli disagrees. Using distance formula, find which of them is correct. Moving on to the solution. Let us suppose that the bottom left corner of the classroom be origin, and it can be represented by O, having the coordinates zero comma zero. Let the horizontal line of columns be x-axis, and the vertical line of rows be y-axis. Here, we need to find the coordinates of the points. A B C and D Since the point A is located at a distance of 3 units from y axis the x coordinate of the point A will be 3 Also point A is located at a distance of 4 units from x axis so the y coordinate of the point A will be 4 Similarly point B is located at a distance of 6 units from y axis So the x coordinate of the point B will be six, and also point B is located at a distance of seven units from x axis. So the y coordinate of the point B will be seven. Similarly, point C is located at a distance of nine units from y axis. So the x coordinate of the point C will be nine, and also point C is located at a distance of four units. from the x axis so the y coordinate of the point c will be 4 similarly point d is located at a distance of 6 units from the y axis so the x coordinate of the point d will be 6 and also point d is located at a distance of 1 unit from the x axis so the y coordinate of the point d will be 1 so in order to check whether abcd is a square or not we need to find the distances ab bc cd and ad and also lengths of the diagonals ac and pd we know that the distance between the two points p x1 comma y1 and q x2 comma y2 is given by pq equals to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square now let us take the first two points a 3 comma 4 and b 6 comma 7 now applying the distance formula to the points we get length ab equals to under root of 6 minus 3 whole square Plus seven minus four whole square, which is equal to under root of six minus three is three, so three square plus seven minus four is three, so three square, which is equal to under root of nine plus nine, that is equal to root eighteen. On further simplification, we can write eighteen as Two times nine. That equals to root two times three, which is three root two. Now, taking the second pair of points B six comma seven and C nine comma four. By distance formula, we get length BC equals to under root of nine minus six whole square plus four minus seven whole square. Which is equal to under root of nine minus six is three, so three square plus four minus seven is minus three, so minus three square. Which is equal to under root of nine plus nine, which is nothing but root eighteen. That is nothing but three root two. Now let us take next pair of points C nine comma four and D six comma one. now by applying the distance formula 
to these points we get length cd equals to under root of 6 minus 9 whole square plus 1 minus 4 whole square which is equal to under root of minus 3 square plus minus 3 square that is equal to under root of 9 plus 9 which is equal to root 18 that is nothing but 3 root 2. Now taking the fourth pair of points a 3 comma 4 and d 6 comma 1 by applying distance formula we get length ad equals to under root of 6 minus 3 whole square plus 1 minus 4 whole square which is equal to under root of 6 minus 3 is 3 so 3 square plus 1 minus 4 is minus 3 so minus 3 square that is equal to under root of 9 plus 9 that is equal to which is equal to root 18 that is nothing but 3 root 2. Taking the points a 3 comma 4 and c 9 comma 4 by applying distance formula we get length ac equals to under root of 9 minus 3 whole square plus 4 minus 4 whole square which is equal to under root of 9 minus 3 is 6 so 6 square plus 4 minus 4 is 0 0 square that is equal to root 36 which is nothing but 6. Now taking the points b 6 comma 7 and d 6 comma 1 by distance formula we have length pd equals to under root of 6 minus 6 whole square plus 1 minus 7 whole square that is equal to under root of 6 minus 6 is 0 so 0 square plus 1 minus 7 is minus 6 so minus 6 square that is equal to under root of minus 6 whole square is 36 so root 36 is nothing but 6 from this we can conclude ab equals to bc equals to cd equals to ad which is equal to 3 root 2 that is all the four sides are equal and also AC equals to BD that is the diagonals are equal therefore ABCD is a square since all the four sides are equal and diagonals are also equal and we can say that Champa is correct.